The Trail of Katowice Murals. Bagucice, in the underground passage at the stars, there is a mural depicting Jerzy Kukuczka, the conqueror of the Crown Himalayas, and the Karakoram, one of the greatest Himalayas in the history. Mural is part of the Mystery Garden Project. It was created in 2011 on behalf of cultural institutions, Katowice City of Gardens, in connection with the efforts of Katowice, the title of European Capital of Culture, and is not the only mural dictated in Kukuczka. The second one is located on an intersection of Markievki and Kotowicka streets in Bogucica. The route of the Katowice murals will be led by guides Ms. Barbara Zugmanska and Mr. Piotr Fuglevich, authors of The Walking Guide of Katowice. Ms. Barbara, could you tell us more? The Kukuczka mural, Ms. Barbara said. I could do more, also about Jerzy Kukuczka himself. I had the pleasure of knowing him personally. In his own time, Jerzy Kukuczka was born close to the mural at the corner of Markivki and Katowice streets. He was born in a tenement house, which is located under address Markivki 94, almost exactly opposite the church. He was a mountaineer from Estebna, and from Estebna was visited by both his parents. On the other hand, he himself, as well as his sister and brother, were already born in Katowice. And Europe grew up there, the courtyard between Hashuk and Klopstanga, as they say in Silesian. That is, between a trash can and a beater. When he was 14, he started training in lifting loads in the steelworks sports club in Schopenitze. A few years later, he became a member of the scouting club of Tatarnitsa in the name of General Mariusz Zaruski in Katowice, and from this moment, he was completely devoted to himself and climbing. He started his training from trips to the Jurassic Rocks, i.e. to Podleszica, to Zentkowicka, and there was his colleagues from the club. He beat on the beginning easier, then more and more tougher rock roads. Back then, climbing also looked different than it looks today. There were no permanent ones yet, safety points, only everyone climbing assumed self-assurance. Jurek, it turned out, that he had an astounding talent, but especially how it turned out later, he had an astounding talent for more difficult roads in Tatras, later in the Alps, and later in the Himalayas. He was doing very well in high mountains. He was in great shape. Climbing in high mountains, this is different than rock climbing, although in the past it was so that climbers most often combined these two competitions. Today, too, climbers are divided only into those who climb on the walls, in halls, and those who climb in the high mountains. But by then, they were more versatile. That's when Jurek was active. Well, it turns out that he was just as particular predisposition to climbing in high mountains, where maybe it's not kind of gymnastics, but above all, it's necessary to high efficiency of the body. His first expedition was an expedition in 1979 for his first Lotze 8000 together with Glivitze High Mountain Club, and then he got the next 8000ers. Acquiring all 14 8000ers, or the so called the crown of the Himalayas, took him just eight years. How it differed from the next conquerors who took this mostly more time. His last expedition was in 1989, when he wanted to gather with Katowice climbers to conquer the unconquered southern wall of Hlotze. So it was the same mountain on which entered as the first 8000er. Unfortunately, this is his last expedition, which ended in death. He fell off a wall, probably not a strong rope, and fell into the abyss. And that's where he stayed, unfortunately, as a well-deserved resident of Katowice. His memorial, in his name, the name of primary school, it was named after the Academy of Physical Education. It was also called a housing estate, which called the Kukuchka estate, just in his of the family Bogochitsa, and also arose just the two murals that we're talking about. The first mural in the passage, underground, in 2011, its author is Jerzy Rojkowski, the creator of the murals, among others, in Kraków and Nova Shantz, and a large mural which was built on the wall of Tenement House on the corner of Markivki and Kotowicka streets was created in 2019. 
Its author is Wojciech Walczyk. And the mural was created on the basis of a photo from Jorek Kuczka's expedition to Annapurna. This is the original photo that was made during the expedition, and that's where the mural was. Lecturer said, It is hard not to notice this mural, as it occupies the surface of up to 100 square meters. Are the mountain film festivals still taking place? Miss Barbara said, Mountain film festivals were held in Katowice. It was a very interesting party. Now after a long stop, as far as I know, they still take place in Rialto Cinema. If one of our listeners would like to get closer to the figure of Kukuchka, then we invite you to the Silesian Theatre for the performance of the Himalayas, directed by Robert Talarczyk. Lecturer said, Let us now move on to another part of Bogochitsa, also in the passage underground at the stars. There is Piotr Wurscht, mural Magik, legendary rapper from Bogochitsa. This work is part of the Mysterious Garden Project, carried out in 2011 at the request of Katowice, City of Gardens, in connection with the candidacy Katowice for the title of European Capital of Culture. Magik, member of 44 Caliber Team, 1994-1998, to and the Pacto for Niki since 1998, to the death of his suicide in 2000. Postmortem awarded the Frederick Prize in 2001 for the album Cinema Photography from Pacto Fonica Group. There is also a film about the group directed by Leszek David, You Are God. Mr. Piot, could you tell us more about Magik? Mr. Piot said, Magik died of a suicide three or two hundred meters from where he lived. That's where the blocks are. From the high window, he threw himself on the second day of Christmas, 2000, at the age of 22. I had a short meeting with him because he was a rather colleague of my daughter. I'm not a big fan either of hip-hop, though I did listen to Pacto Fonica and the Caliber 44. I believe that technically and artistically, they were very efficient young people, especially since it was a time of such a stormy hip-hop explosion. I don't want to expose yourself to outstanding experts, 40 years old now, but it seemed to me that it was a time when several hip-hop bands have entered not anymore garage, but public circulation, and undoubtedly Caliber 44 and Pacto Fonica, they belonged at the top. It was music expressing the real problems of these young people. The tongue, perhaps, was far from Mitskiewicz, but in turn he was blunt and it certainly goes to his peers. The chosen gods die young. Magik didn't live to be 26. When the great ones, Hendrix, were dying, Joplin and so on, perhaps if he was alive today, he would go on. He would be quite significant on the stage. His partners from Pacto Fonica continued to create while occupying and also producing slabs, so generally stayed in what they're doing. Magik was for his generation. It was my daughter's generation. Exactly. She was a participant in numerous concerts. It was just so much fun for them. He was an important idol. His passing was a difficult thing to bear. The film, by the way, was made about him. Part of this video in a place where Magik lived, that is, on the street, Katowice in Bogochitsa. Yeah, he could have gone on the bus from this page or where is beneath the stars in his mural. So this is unity, so to speak artistic history of the place where the creator lived in its commemoration. Lecturer said, As you may have heard, murals are not only a piece of history, but also a commemoration of various important personalities. That's all for today. Thank you, and I cordially invite you to the next episode. And there we will zoom in on the figure Mona Tush. Thank you to my guests, Ms. Barbara and Mr. Piot. I'll talk to you soon. This project is funded by government budgets. The podcasts have been read by Braden Buddy.